Thank you so much for staying tuned to this channel. Yes, when we talk about politics, talk about the people, talk about preparation towards the 2023 general election. But right now, I want to delve into, uh, you, you, you know, a, a polio because this month is dedicated to the eradication of polio in some climes, in some quarters. And of course, uh, we're going to get to hear uh, about this. Yes, we reached out to a medical practitioner. Maybe in due course, he's going to join us in the studio. If not, the show, the sale definitely will go on. Go to hear also about life experience. We get to hear how parents should go about this, what parents should do, and all of that. I wouldn't want to go into the chemical components of the virus polio. I wouldn't want to go into, uh, you know, uh, the causative agent mm -mm, that is deeply, deeply, deeply medical. But with this knowledge, definitely one or two things may just pop up so I can go to know how to take care of your kids. And of course, I have uh, the present rights uh, ro uh, uh, Rotary, yeah, Usenu chapter, isn't it? Yeah, and you know, Jonathan, he called the IA. And of course, Nehizena uh, Cash. I uh, really appreciate you on this platform. They are analysts talking about this particular scourge. All right. Engineer Joe, it's good to have you back after like how many years now? <laughs> how many years now? I went, I went to sabbatical. 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 All right. Nigeria has been battling with this polio and to some extent they said that polio has been eradicated. But we still see skirmishes of polio uh, kids being affected here uh, and there. Uh, are we really winning this battle or we are losing this battle without knowing what we are really doing? Engineer Jonathan, please. Okay, uh, I want to say that we are winning the battle. We are not losing it because uh, uh, we have been fighting polio right from uh, 1959 to date. But in Nigeria, so to speak, uh, you know, actually came to recognize polio in 1979 and since then we have had organizations in collaboration with the federal government state government local government you know sensitizing people against uh, about the eradication of this uh, uh, polio disease polio virus mm -hmm. and uh, they have actually there has been a collaboration you know among these bodies i just mentioned to make sure that polio uh, is being eradicated from this country, Nigeria. But in, in the year 2020, you know, we, were, we heard that polio has been eradicated, that polio is now to zero, come to 0% in Nigeria. But because of some reasons, you know, uh, we are still having these polio infections among us. First of all, let us talk, what is this polio? Polio virus is a virus that affects children you know, within the age of five years and below, to be very specific. And your sincerely happens to be a victim of this polio virus. Yeah. You know, it affects these children of this age, and when it affects them, it causes paralysis of the legs. Yes, we have different types of polio. We have polio type one, polio virus type one, type two, and type three. You know, among these three uh, virus, the last type paralyzes the vertebrates, which sometimes even leads to death of children. Though I'm not a medical person, but for me too, I want to know about it as a victim of it. You know? So, what actually causes this uh, uh, polio? People that are being, uh, polio virus, people that are being infected, you know, from, they move from one uh, location to another. For instance, in 2021, we said there's no more polio in Nigeria. But don't forget that people travel from all other countries to Nigeria. Nigerians travel and people travel from other countries to Nigeria. And in the process of this traveling, they tend to carry this virus along. And anywhere they get to, they tend to uh, infect it. We have two major countries in the world that has this polio virus in their borders, Pakistan and Afghanistan. These two countries has this polio virus that affects these children. And once it affects them, they become paralyzed. If not for the quick observation my parents had when it happened long ago, mm -hmm. just he said we have been on the wheelchair today. But there was quick response. I was being taken to various hospitals for treatment. Hence, I managed to walk the way 
I'm working today. That is polio virus uh, for you. All right, all right. Uh, that is our uh, engineer Jonathan speaking from uh, uh, his uh, experience. Yes, I don't forget that uh, on a summer of Benin the Great, yes, he's a uh, uh, number one in the fight against polio. If you go around Benin, you get to see his posters. You know, uh, Rotary, a summer being their patron in the forefront in the fight against polio. He talked about you know vaccination, eradicating polio. Just go to the King Square, get to see that big post. And I haven't said that. All right. Now, people have said that, but polio is an organ endemic in Nigeria. Even the UN attested to that. But if we just rest on our oars and say, yes, we've overcome polio, maybe cash. All right. Thank you very much for this um, opportunity to really talk to us about polio. No, we cannot just relax ourselves. That we are done with polio, not at all. Just like um, Engineer Joe told us just now, that at the time, I think that was 2020, mm -hmm. we all assumed or we had the belief that Nigeria, you know, we are already polio free. But before you know what was happening, there was a breakout. Because of this, different organizations and are coming together oh. to fight against polio. You just made mention of uh, polio ambassador. We call yeah. him polio ambassador. Ambassador, the Issam of Benin. Issam of Benin. Dr. Gabriel Kudos Sarri to him Benin. once again. Yes. 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 Kudos to him once again. Mm. Because before you call somebody um, polio ambassador, mm. he must have donated above $1,000. Far, far. Mm. $3,000 and above. Mm. Because he actually started his fight against polio. In a nutshell, Rotary, WHO, and this um, Big Girls Foundation, they are all partnering together to fight against this polio. So in Nigeria, we also have these organizations here fighting against polio. polio. So we are not folding our hands at mm. all. Mm. Because if a child, as polio, it then means that we are expecting more than 10, 20. Mm. That's in vicinity. Why? Mm. Because it's highly contagious. You can pass it to another child. Mm. Maybe through the, okay, let me use a, a local language, mm. through the, uh, is it pool? Mm. The sheets. Mm. Uh, no, no, no. So, pool is okay. Let's use the word. So, <laughs> pool is okay, please. Pool is okay. <laughs> so, yeah. through the air, mm -hmm. a child can actually pass it mm. to another. Mm. Like Angela Joe said, I will repeat that to prevent such, why not start making noise with it? Mm. You make me, that's what I'll do. Awareness, create awareness. Let people know. Like, how do you do this? When you see a mother with a child, you can walk up to her, hello, madam, how are you doing? How old is your child? Have you vaccinated this child? Have you taken this child to the nearest health center to, to give this child immunization? Mm. So by so doing, you are creating awareness. Awareness. Mm. So these are some of the things we are encouraging people to do. Mostly this month, we had now. Mm. This yeah. month, October, mm. 24th October, we are celebrating what? Hmm. The World Polio Day. Holiday. So before then, I want to make it create awareness, let people know, sensitize them hmm. that it's important, if it's necessary, that will take our children to the nearest health center all right, now. to get them to uh, 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 Now, uh, uh, really, as we all know, the East Summer of Benin, he's hmm. uh, a polio ambassador, having convened his own yes. quarter in the fight against polio via the, the, the Rotary and some other organizations. But some people are skeptical about vaccination. How can this fear be overcome? Yes, it happened long ago uh, in the northern part of Nigeria when uh, the rumor came that uh, the vaccines would prevent uh, females, especially the women, from getting pregnant mm -hmm. and others. But it took, because of that, Rumor, a lot of persons were skeptical in taking the uh, vaccines, mm -hmm. and uh, but modalities were put in place to meet with their rulers, their traditional rulers, their elders, their imams, and uh, family heads to sensitize the persons that no, 
taking these vaccines will not actually make them to be uh, infertile. Yeah. You know? So, uh, jingles, leaflets, symposium seminars were now being organized to sensitize people that it is always pertinent to, to immunize this, oh. their children against the polio uh, virus. Uh, like you rightly said, I want to use this opportunity to congratulate the ESAMA of the League mm. for partnering with uh, Rotary International mm. to, for the eradication of uh, this deadly virus. Uh, like I earlier said, it affects children five years uh, mm. and below. Mm. And if you are an adult, you have not been immunized against the polio virus, I also want to use the opportunity to advise everyone that has not been immunized. You are a carrier. Mm. Because once if somebody who has the virus, you know, meets with you, and you know, you definitely contact the the disease from that person, and you spread it. Mm. You know, uh, my partner was also talking about, you know, 2020. It was certified by World Health Organization that Nigeria is polio free. I also want to make mention of what the reason why the, the, the virus came back again to Nigeria is. Number one, like I said earlier, people who traveled mm -hmm. to other parts of the world, like Afghanistan and, and the rest Africa, of the Pakistan, Pakistan. <laughs> they, will, they will definitely contact somebody who already has is, is infected with the disease. Mm -hmm. And once they come back to the country, they will infect others that are not immunized. Mm -hmm. Then secondly, we also have challenged areas, areas where you have war, areas where you have insurgency that uh, health workers cannot get to yeah. for the immunization, you know. So I'm of the opinion that soldiers, uh, military personnel should be taught on how to immunize, to carry out this immunization because they only can reach these areas where health workers cannot get to for the immunization. We cannot just say, oh, Nigeria is 0% polio free because a lot of persons are still being infected every day. When you go out there, you see children being infected with this deadly disease. It's a very deadly disease that called paralysis of the two legs. Mm. I'm a victim. That is why mm. I'm, you know, I'm very loud in saying I'm head bent at the forefront of trying to eradicate this uh, deadly disease. Mm. Wow. All right, it's all about the fight against polio 24th of, uh, uh, every 24th of every October of every year. That is a day I set aside, but we have to start it on time. After all, uh, a summer of Benin, he is a, a, a polio ambassador. Uh, somewhere along the line, the UN certified that Nigeria is polio free, but uh, uh, due to one, how will I call it now? Is it carelessness or the other, the virus resurfaced? And of course, uh, the, 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 the summer being the Rotary uh, ambassador of polio, uh, they are working tirelessly to make sure that it's no longer endemic in uh, our country, Nigeria. Can one say that the unrest in the northern part of the country is like, you know, making this virus to thrive? Cash. Mm, the truth is, it's really much there anyway. Yeah. Yes. If you, based on statistics, if you compare the, north, the northern part of Nigeria mm. to the southern part, you discover that this polio a virus is really much there. Mm. Now, I really want to use this opportunity to also tell the public that you can actually contribute to eradicate this polio. Very possible. Mm. You can partner with Rotary International. You well, just, you well, just well, mentioned. Yeah, they, they uh, some of the name. Who is Benin. ambassador? Yeah. Is, who mm. is an ambassador? Mm. So, because he actually wants to also eradicate polio, polio too. So, mm. you can contribute. How do you do that? How do you do that? Mm. You can, con like Engineer Joe, seated now, mm. he is a PhD. He has contributed $1,000 mm. to the Rotary Foundation. Mm. I've done. Uh, and, and anyway, we are not here to, to, no, to, to, to raise okay, money. Just, or no, whether, uh, no. yeah. For you to, I'm just trying to let you know yes, that even yes. if you give a, a, a dime yes. towards it, towards it will it, get. Yes. 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 Because, mm. do you know why I'm saying this now? Mm. Let me quickly tell you. Mm. Those vaccines you see on the streets, people are going to buy them on the streets. Yes. 
They're free. But some persons paid for them. Thank you. Like the summer of Benin and the rest of the people. Like okay, this. okay. So it means that if you really want to be a part of this mm. fight against... You, you can just go and make your minute contributions, you. okay, to I any of them. You. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't want us to dive into okay. that for okay. so many let's, reasons let's, because... Uh, that. Anyway, you and Madam Cash, you can pay for it. No problem. <laughs> All right, well, it, 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 it's all about the eradication of polio. Want to go for a break on return? We'll definitely conclude this part because we're just starting this discussion. Yes, Nigeria kicked out polio, and all of a sudden it's back again. What and what should be done to kick out polio finally so that it will never come back again to this country? Yes, and go away. We'll be right back. <laughs> Thank you so much for staying tuned. Don't forget that on the 24th of October, yeah, every year, just to create an awareness uh, in the fight against polio. Don't say it doesn't concern you. It concerns you. It concerns me. It concerns all of us here in the studio. And, of course, our great uh, benefactor, the Yesama of Benin, is ambassador, yes, in the fight against polio. And of course, I reiterate to the core and his, his contributed his quarter to contribute so that Nigeria will leave that list of having one form of polio attack or the other. What will be polio free? And I have uh, Jonathan Echodiahi and uh, Nehizena Cash here with me in the studio that are showing their experience and of the way we should go about all this. Engineer Joe, some persons talked about challenges faced on the field while trying to do their job as uh, these polio, uh, some people call them polio vendors, you know, they kind of like, you know, fight against polio by administering all these vaccines going from door to door just to make sure that every child is vaccinated. How can this be overcome, the challenges they faced? Okay, uh, talking about these challenges, trying to reach out to parents and their children, the first, like I said, is insecurity. Because there are some areas where you have insecurity. Access to these areas become very challenging. Mm -hmm. As a result, you, the children inhibiting in those areas may not be able to get this vaccination. The ethnicity and the general belief of mm -hmm. some persons that, oh, we don't take injections, oh, we don't know what they are giving to our children, you know, that is the more reason the most be sensitization, like what we are doing now. Mm -hmm. you, you, people must be sensitized so that they will be aware of the danger you know, uh, that follows this uh, polio virus. Once sensitization is carried out, I sincerely believe that another person will be interested in taking this uh, uh, vaccination for their mm -hmm. children. Mm -hmm. It's very, very important that the government partners with uh, uh, bodies like Ultra International, that our daddy, the SMA will be, mm -hmm. is well known for, and some other way to do individuals, and some other bodies too, mm -hmm. to partner with uh, World Health Organization in trying to reach out to the nooks and crannies of uh, every corner of uh, uh, the, the society mm -hmm. to make sure that these uh, vaccines are being taken. Then it should also be, you know, told to antenatal uh, mothers, women about to give birth as they go to the clinic, clinics and various uh, health facilities to for treatment. They should also be told that immediately they give birth within the age of one year to five years. They should bring back their children for vaccination of mm -hmm. this, uh, to take these full of vaccin uh, vaccines. It's very important mm -hmm. because the Bible rightly said, for lack of knowledge, my people perish. If sensitization matters. I think that would definitely go a long way in trying to reach out to other areas that uh, are lacking this uh, vaccination. Uh, all right. Now, what, what if they choose to attract uh, security personnel to some of these persons going there to vaccinate children? In the fight against polio, would, they, would, would, would that be too much to ask? Cash, yes. Okay. You're talking about security personnel attaching them to, okay. yes, these personnel going out to vaccinate children just to get them, you know, safeguarded and protected. Do you think it would be too much to ask for? Not really. Mm. I think it would be a good idea, mm. considering the area. Like Yelia said, there are some areas that you can't just go on your own yeah. or in the name of you trying to you know, get the children there vaccinated. So giving them security business is not a bad idea. Mm -hmm. But talking about some of these challenges, I just remembered some of the experiences we had yeah. some time ago. You go to some malls, they'll tell you that they'll not allow you. They don't know what you are carrying. 
parents, you are seeing from where you, you are standing that there are some kids there that really need it. They will prevent you from entering. We will have to preach and preach and preach. They said they've not heard about it before. Mm -hmm. Even going to some churches way back, you try and let them know, please, you have to get this children. They will tell you no. Mm -hmm. So I think the way forward, first thing first, is this sensitization, both on here, and I think this um, work will also go a long way. Mm -hmm. Just right. do a kind of polio work and let people know about it. Mm -hmm. That this, if you see people, this health, um, health officers, officers, yes, they are carrying these bags. It's just for you to know. You you check their ID cards mm. for security purpose too. Mm. For you to know that yes, they are truly uh, health officers. Okay. Once you confirm that, you allow them. You mm. allow them because if you also compare five years back to now, I think. Yeah, we are seeing some changes, changes too. Yes. Yes. Compared to them ten years ago. There are some churches they are where. Like my church, once we come with those um that's once we see such persons, mm -hmm. health officers with with their you how do you call them just now? Some of some persons they call them ve uh, vendors. Vendors. <laughs> We see them just call some head. Um, they call them polo vaccine vendors. vendors. They are walking about. <laughs> so, what we we'll do, we, we, just, we already let the yeah. children coordinate. Once you see them, mm. once you see them, let us know. No. So, they'll just let the church authority know. Mm. We call some head uh, personnel. Yeah. We just call them. They just check. Mm. We know them. Yeah. Once we confirm their ID cards, confirm what they are carrying mm. is true. Them. Let them go. Let them go ahead. Right. But left to me, uh, I mean, want to look at it from a different perspective. Mm. Okay. Because uh, uh, going around with uh, security personnel to administer immunization on children may not necessarily be uh, that important. Not I think all areas. Not mm. uh, well. Mm. I think uh, the most important thing is sensitization. Mm. You know, like I said earlier, uh, it, there are some areas that are really very volatile. Yes, so, yes. You can train those uh, military personnel, police, or uh, any of the para paramilitary organizations on how, on to, how to administer these uh, yes. mm. vaccines to the children in that area. Mm. Yes, I think that is exactly what happened in some areas in the war zone. Had, yes, where they had challenges. This it lessens the burden too. Yes, the paramilitary or the military or whatever force that is within that vicinity mm. can be trained. To administer these uh, vaccines to the children. To the children. For yeah. first thing first is sensitization. When you go about sensitizing people, the need and the importance of taking these vaccines, I think they will listen. Yeah. You don't need that. Because some persons may be very skeptical. Seeing policemen or military <laughs> with the they yeah. don't know what they are coming to give to their children. Yeah. Without that sensitization. So the mm. most important thing is that sensitization, public awareness. Mm. Public awareness. Let them know the importance of this immunization mm. on their children. Mm. Uh -huh. I think once they know, and supported by their various heads, heads of communities, maybe their John Way or Elijah or whoever, uh, those two can also assist in creating that sensitization to their people that. This, the need, the importance of taking this. Uh, Let me step uh, in here, mm, Engineer yeah. Joe. Yeah. Do you know that there was this community, community we, we actually visited mm. and we went there to administer this uh, vaccine? As we speak, there are some persons, they don't even know what this polio, that is, that this, is why what this polio virus can do to a child. Mm. Yes. I'm telling the truth. Mm. The remote area, we're trying to let them know that, please. Me, he said, no, said, look at this child. Mm. Look at this child, look at the legs. Look at what. Don't, he said, no, it was a spiritual problem I, I had. Yeah. Yes, I had a fight with my uh, neighbor, and before mm. you know it, I put to bed and uh, mm. just imagine. <laughs> just imagine. <laughs> so they still had this mentality, mentality that uh, uh, this, this thing you are seeing now, this legs you are seeing, this paralysis you are seeing now, mm. was being, you know, this thing came all, it, all about because I had this issue, issue. with my neighbor and mm. like that. So we tried all we could and we were able to talk to the Ojonwe mm. as the head of the community. Yes. Just passed the message across. That gave us another thing that we should come and you know come with 
uh, our full entourage, let me put it that yes. way, mm. make a whole lot of sensitization with it. Yes, because that's what did. Why, before you know what was happening, why he asked him to, to come? Mm. Why he asked him to come was to minister. give him time yes, to, to sensitize to them, people. To, to people and prepare mm. them. Yes, oh, right. the town mm. was filled up filled and able to. Mm. Mm. Oh, and finally, before we go, we're coming polio in Nigeria to take us back to that current slate 2020. Is it possible? Very, very possible. Yes, it's possible. Mm. If at a time we were polo, polio free. free. In fact, we are now celebrating keep polio zero in Nigeria. In Nigeria. So it's very possible. Don't you think it's, so? Yes, it's, it's possible. possible. How is it going to be possible? Uh, like we have analyzed mm. challenged areas we should arrange on how to get to those challenging areas. Mm. Then there should be proper vaccination for those going out of the country and coming in. Mm. Mm. Whether they are grown up or not. Whether they are yes. grown up or not. They should be yeah. quarantined to find out if they are carriers of this virus. They were so that they cannot yes, so that they cannot uh, infect other persons who has there, there's another thing about this virus. For if that you have been immunized does not mean you are not a carrier of the virus. Mm. Yes, that you have been immunized already does not mean you cannot carry the virus. Just that it will not have that adverse effect on you. That's the meaning of unlike, <laughs> unlike, it's uh, not a... unlike those that are not immunized at all. Mm. But the danger now is you that is a carrier can infect somebody who is not uh, immunized at nice. all. So it's always pertinent to advise that everybody should, be, should be immunized, immunized. Nice. Mm. against the polio virus. That's what right. is, that is my preaching. All right. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Thank you so, yes. so much, gentlemen and lady. I really appreciate your wonderful, wonderful talk on today's uh, edition of TMI, talking about the polio month, eradicating polio in uh, 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 Nigeria. And Jonathan Ekodiae is uh, the president of Rotary uh, uh, Club of Chelu uh, uh, branch. Yes, and of course, uh, uh, Lady Nehizen Akash, yeah, also a member, also, right? Uh, president. Uh, president, sorry, President. Bini Metro. Metro. President Bini Metro. So, two presidents. That means one, there'll be a president, too. Whatever. So, I have two presidents. Well, yeah, we have been in the studio that are going to share their minds and opinion. And don't forget our, our great ASAM, our, our great investor. The year summer of Benin Environmental uh, Council to Edo and Delta State of Nigeria, His Excellency, Sir Chief Dr. Gabriel Sarik Benido is an ambassador in the fight against polio. Yeah, and of course, remember, wow, you see that? Metro. So it's like they are working hand in hand to make sure that Nigeria retains that position of zero polio yes. in Nigeria. And with your help, our help mm -hmm. being vaccinated, definitely, Very possible. we will get to that point again. It is very possible. So I really appreciate both of you. Thank you so much for thank coming. You. Thank, thank you. you. All right, all right. And that's it for this edition of this morning on ITV. I appreciate you staying out there, taking our time to watch, listen, and learn. We'll do it again next week, Sunday. God willing. Bye for now.